It's difficult to determine whether this is a robot malfunction or a descent into madness. The video seems to be from a Life of Luxury YouTube video which suggests it may be scripted. Nonetheless, it captivates fans of the creepy and bizarre. <laughs> How do you think scripted content in the creepy and paranormal realm affects our perception of reality? In this chilling video from the Takuchi Camera Channel, the uploader ventures into an eerie, deserted town in Japan. With only the light from his camera to guide him, he cautiously explores the abandoned buildings. The floors of each building are strewn with garbage and junk, a sign that nobody has lived in this desolate place for a very long time. As he continues his journey through the town, he decides to set up camp for the night, seeking shelter within the safety of his tent. But then something catches his attention, causing him to hastily leave the comfort of his temporary refuge. <sighs> He quickly aims his camera at the surroundings, hoping to capture whatever has piqued his curiosity. However, to his mounting frustration, the camera fails to capture anything on film. Undeterred, the uploader decides to set up a thermal imaging camera near one of the buildings with the hope that it may reveal hidden secrets of the forsaken village. As the minutes pass, the screen of the thermal imaging camera flickers to life, revealing a chilling sight. From the dark shadows ahead, a figure begins to emerge, gradually rising into view. Intriguingly, it seems drawn towards the camera's presence, cautiously closing the distance. Then, in a sudden burst of speed, it sprints towards the camera, leaving the uploader and viewers alike with a sense of unease. What did the infrared camera capture in this abandoned village? What unknown entity or force lurks within the silence and decay? These perplexing questions hang in the air, filling our minds with a mix of curiosity and apprehension. A recent slapped ham subreddit post by a user Northic3 shows CTV footage from a Manchester restaurant where a candle holder slides across a table on its own. This strange movement has led to debates about possible paranormal activity. The candle holder starts, stops, and then starts again, adding to the mystery. The restaurant, housed in a historic building from the 1700s, is known for its spooky occurrences. The manager, convinced it was a supernatural event, noted that the table surface is bumpy, making the smooth movement of a candle holder even more puzzling. The restaurant's history includes reports of unexplained crying in the basement and a mysterious tunnel that no one dares to explore. This strange event remains unexplained, adding to the list of eerie happenings at this historic Manchester restaurant. What do you think? Could this be a real paranormal event, or is there another explanation? In this clip from the show Seth and Chase, Seth is joined by Josh from Exploring with Josh and paranormal investigator Stephen Dillon from Haunted Nights. They all come together to investigate the U.S. South Salem, which is a historic Navy cruiser and now a museum in Massachusetts. It is believed that many people have died on the ship, and visitors as well as staff have reported strange happenings. Their guide, Don, tells the group about a spirit known as Chief, 
who is said to be an older sailor still lingering on the ship. Ghost Hunter Steven sets up an EVP session in hopes of communicating with Chief. The recording device picks up some unsettling responses. Chief hangs out. You think the Chief is here? Well, I, I think the Chief hangs out in here. Okay. Uh, so you would say that like Chief is the authoritative figure? I would say the Chief is the guardian of the ship. The Chief is, is the man who, who is concerned with people disrespecting the ship and things of that nature. Yep. When the pandemic first started and I started working at home, I let my, my hair was longer than yours. I mean, it was down to like the middle of my back. <laughs> and every time I came aboard, the Chief would yank my hair. Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 damn it. Oh, <laughs> We are a what? We are something. Yeah. Clear as day. Oh, yeah. That's so vocal, yeah. too. Yeah. We who? Oh, we are. Oh, Ben, we are oh my craziest God. shit ever. What is that That's last so word? Wild. It's two syllables. Yeah. We are. Uh, we yeah, are amazing. alive. We are something. Do we try? Do we just sit there and try it one more time? Yeah. We are. Now we've heard it's, them. We can tell them that we can hear you. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's right there. Back. All right. I'm gonna do it again. We heard you say we are something. We can't understand you. Can you repeat yourself? We are what? Chief, if you're here watching us, can you tell us your name? Oh my god, I did it again! Bro, I don't even want to film, like, if this is, this is fucked. Every quicker. Oh my god! No, bro, I don't want to film. That's oh scary. my god! And why are you screaming? Hair. My, my hair was longer than yours. I mean, it was down to like the middle of my back. <laughs> and every time I came aboard, the chief would yank my hair. Uh, oh. You saw it on camera, but I, I felt it. Holy shit. That was really nice. Yeah, we'll mind you. Oh, good point. Flashlight's on. Helpless. Oh, we're helpless. That's what it was. Maybe we should. The explorers then turn on a black light and continue to hear the word helpless repeatedly. They discuss the significance of hearing this word and make a connection to a possible spirit named Alice. The unsettling encounters continue as Seth and his team go over the footage they recorded. They discover a figure resembling a girl in a long skirt moving silently in the background. It is a creepy and mysterious moment that leaves the audience questioning what they just witnessed. What are your thoughts on this encounter? Let me know in the comments below. Whether or not one believes in Duende, a supernatural creature commonly mentioned in Spanish folklore, is a matter of personal conviction. The video shared by that is Impossible Clips presents a mysterious figure that has sparked speculation among viewers. The clip, said to be filmed in Mexico, shows a creature cautiously observing the camera from a distance. Deep within the surveillance camera footage of a Walmart in Oxnard, California, an old video has emerged. This eerie footage is said to capture the presence of a ghostly figure, a Mexican-American little girl, whose appearance seems reminiscent of the 50s or 60s. As the night workers went about their duties, they were startled by the unexplainable sound of bouncing balls, seemingly moving on their own accord. And it wasn't just the balls acting mysteriously. Workers claimed to have actually spotted the playful apparition herself, witnessing her mischievously giggle and smile in their presence. 
Now brace yourself as the video plays. Keep your gaze focused, for the footage is somewhat blurry. Can you spot her? Ah, there she is, suddenly emerging from behind a rack of clothing, only to vanish again just as quickly. Could it truly be the spirit of a young girl lingering within these walls? Or is there another explanation that eludes us? Is it possible that our eyes are playing tricks on us, deceiving us with an illusion of paranormal presence? I am curious to know your thoughts. Do share your insights on this enigmatic encounter. Unsettling video uploaded by TikTok user Jen Barari. We are given a glimpse into the chilling experiences she and her family have been enduring on their property. And they have a main building, a guest cottage, and a barn on their land. These structures are all connected by a long history. However, something sinister has been occurring on their property. As Jen checks the security cameras she installed, she notices peculiar activities and strange noises that send shivers down her spine. The spirits residing on the land seem to be displeased with the recent renovations made to the barn house. One night, while outside near her daughter's playground, Jen captures footage of lights turning on and off mysteriously. She is alone and alarmed by the unexplainable occurrences. I live on a property that was built in the 1700s. There's a colonial house, there's a main house, um, and then, um, I'm sorry, there's the colonial house, which is the main house, and then there's the barn house. And we're in the main house, so this is what's going on by my daughter's playground, okay? Sorry, the barn house. I, I'm like so shooken up. I can't even deal right now. I'm so sorry. Like clearly everything is old, okay? So, all old. So I don't know. And it's attracted to here, so. The lights are around and sh I know you hear that. Okay, that's not right. Mind you, like when I went back outside, I was with them because they're latched and they lock and they have wheels that lock. They're pretty dope, actually. That's not. That's not dope when there's a bang. I'm, oh, I'm going out with no call. Come on, you son of a. This is the worst flashlight. How do I turn this on? There's literally nobody here. Oh, sorry, baby. There's nobody here. I don't know how, like, better to, there's my office lights, like, I, um, have my, you know, stuff on me, and, um, not much has been going on, um, the head got knocked off of our statue, it was really weird, um, the flashlight you got me is really dope, it has all these really cool settings, um, it's pretty awesome. Um, well, well, baby, baby, tell me I'm bugging.
tell me I'm bugging. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. Throughout the video, there are moments of fear and frustration as Jen tries to understand what is happening. Jen decides to seek answers and researchers' mediums to gain insight into the history of her land. She wants to understand why these paranormal activities are happening to her and her family. Very strange. Um but it starts from there, so it could be coincidental. Anyways, all right, could be an animal. Shortly after, she records another video showing a short black shadow figure that seems to be following her everywhere she goes. The tension continues to rise as Jen investigates further in the following days. She captures more strange behavior on her security cameras. The shadow creature she encounters now appears to reflect light instead of absorbing it. Mm -hmm. That's insane. That's really insane. It's locked in. Right. So, here it is. Let me close the door. Right, so let me turn on the light. But this is basically it. Um, it's cute small um here's the bathroom I'm trying i don't want to like film myself so i'm gonna weirdly just show you guys the bathroom here it is um there's nobody back there i can push the door for you i don't want to be seen here's the little kitchenette here's the bedroom it's really cute um yeah it's creepy as shit in here but there it is and that's about it oh my god okay Oh my god. Alright, I'm out. Oh my god. Despite the fear and creepy incidents, Jen remains resilient and determined. She refuses to give in to the spirit's desires and continues to document her experiences. The video ends with Jen showing a small eerie room and reiterating the strangeness of the events. It is unclear what the intentions of these supernatural forces are. In a strange and unsettling event, something out of the ordinary happened to a man from Haiti, and it was all caught on camera inside a store in Santiago, Chile. This video started making its rounds on Instagram in January 2024, and people couldn't help but wonder what was going on. Let's check it out. In the video, the man suddenly falls to the ground as if something invisible tripped him. It's quite surprising and defies the laws of gravity, leaving everyone watching feeling astonished and confused. People started spreading rumors about what might have caused this strange incident. Some say that the man had left his home country because he owed a lot of money, and that maybe, just maybe, he had fallen under the spell of a Santeria curse. A belief system that combines elements of spirituality, Catholicism, and the traditional Yoruba religion from West Africa. Santeria is known for its mysterious and sometimes supernatural practices. As this mysterious video continues to be shared, 
Many questions arise. Some people are trying to find logical explanations for this unusual fall, while others are wondering if something otherworldly, like a curse, could be responsible. It's hard to deny the fascination and intrigue surrounding this bizarre incident. The YouTube team experienced the spine-chilling phenomenon during their nighttime exploration of the abandoned place. They were startled by the eerie cries that sent shivers down the spines and made their hair stand on end. Why would someone be crying in this desolate and empty home? Luciano do céu, você soltou isso? Soltei. Cries in this empty home are most likely the heartbreaking sound of a spirit's sadness. We follow YouTuber Abdullah Al Anbadi as he ventures into an abandoned all girl school. Whispers of a lurking demon add an eerie twist to his exploration. During his investigation of the abandoned school, Abdullah al Anbadi notices something strange and spying chilling. Not once but twice, a ball moves on its own, seemingly following him. A shiver runs down our spines as we watch the door in front of him unexpectedly close and then open again.
Our unease grows as a mysterious voice, sounding like that of a child, echoes through the empty room. The tension reaches a peak when a dark silhouette emerges in the doorway. Our hearts race as we wonder what will happen next. Now dear viewers, after witnessing these bone-chilling events, we can't help but ask, what are your thoughts on this chilling series of videos? Allow me to introduce you to Savannah, a woman who decided to share some unsettling footage on Facebook Reels. This video was uploaded by a user called El Kakutov. Savannah wanted to commemorate her two-year anniversary with her boyfriend, so she decided to record a little message for the camera. Little did she know that something eerie was about to unfold before her eyes. Uh, we've been dating for two years, but we've known each other forever. As she spoke to the camera, out of nowhere, a mysterious woman swiftly passes by from the left side of the screen to the right. This sudden appearance startles Savannah, causing her to frantically scan her surroundings for any explanation. Yet to her surprise, there is no trace of anyone else in the house. Confused and perhaps a bit frightened, she asks if anyone else saw something entering the room. Curiously, many commenters on the video have been claiming that this could be the work of a ghost caught on camera. Now I wonder, what are your thoughts on this peculiar footage? Take another look at the clip and decide for yourself. In a dimly lit office building slated for destruction, two men embarked on an adventure of exploration. They had a mission to inspect this abandoned place for many important reasons. As they ventured deeper into the building, their flashlight beams danced on the peeling wallpaper and dusty desks. But as they went further, they stumbled upon something truly strange. They halted in their steps, their eyes wide with surprise. Wait, wait, wait. There, in an old chair, it appeared as though someone had been sitting just moments ago. The seat still warm and slightly indented. Curiosity peaked. The two men decided to leave and return the next day to investigate further. They couldn't shake the feeling of an unsolved riddle looming over them. What could have caused this puzzling phenomenon? In this video, the babysitter films a creepy doll that supposedly comes to life when you play hide and seek with it, as told by a five-year-old girl. The babysitter decides to test it out by playing hide and seek and records the whole thing. Um, what was it that you told me earlier about your doll? When I play hide and seek with my doll, it moves. Yeah, when you said it moves? That doll? This doll? Yeah. It... You said it moves? Yeah. Like you move it, or...? What, what, when does it move? When you play hide and seek, where? When you play hide and seek? I'm playing hide and seek. Oh my god! Sadie, you scared me. Don't do that, dude. Luckily, the doll doesn't move during the game and everything seems normal. However, later on, the babysitter notices something strange when the dog stares at the doll from a distance, creating an eerie atmosphere. Like, I noticed the dog has been staring at the doll.
Yo. A few hours later, while the babysitter is taking a nap, a toy in the living room starts going off on its own. Next to the toy is the doll. And it starts to move slowly, lifting his head as if trying to make eye contact with a camera before falling over. This terrifies the babysitter who quickly leaves the room. Although there is no follow-up video to explain what happened, it remains a mystery whether this encounter captured something paranormal or if there is another explanation. What are your thoughts on this video? Video which was uploaded by the YouTuber Lamar Menz showcases a bone-chilling encounter inside a poltergeist pillar. Menz and his partner find themselves locked inside this eerie structure, but it becomes clear that they are not alone. Right from the start, unsettling occurrences set the tone for what is to come. I swear to God, I saw the child. A child? Yeah. I can't just... I can't just be like, bah! I'm not even joking right just now. Who appeared to us? Hello? A loud cry is heard at It all begins with a jarring cry that echoes throughout the pillar, followed by the distinct sound of a child. The reverberations within the tower make it difficult to distinguish between objects, adding to the unsettling atmosphere. What are your thoughts on the matter? In the midst of settling into their new home, the individual who is documenting this video has been experiencing a chain of perplexing occurrences. It seems that objects within the house have been moving on their own accord, and eerie footsteps resonate through the halls during the nighttime hours. Engaged in a moment of leisure, the person is attentively watching television when suddenly, a peculiar array of sounds catches their attention. Hey man. That is cool. What are you doing? What's going on? You okay? Can I get away? The man before us appears to be missing a crucial piece, his head. Yes, you heard that correctly. Just the mere utterance of this sentence seems utterly bonkers to fathom. Shall we explore the realms of digital manipulation, where the skilled hands of editors perform fantastical tricks? Or could it be the tantalizing realm of optical illusions that deceives our gaze? Alas, even with these theories in mind, the puzzle of the headless man remains shrouded in mystery. The Fourth Wall Channel has just released another chilling recording that is both fascinating and surprising. This time, we dive into the story of a man venturing into the mountains.
These eerie occurrences raise a haunting question. Is this location truly haunted? Or could there be a simpler explanation behind all these bewildering phenomena? Perhaps there is a scientific or logical reason behind these recordings, one that doesn't involve spirits and the supernatural. Unaware of the eerie presence lurking nearby, the homeowner settled down on the couch for a peaceful rest. Little did they know, a ghostly figure quietly roamed the room in their midst. It's enough to give anyone the chills. Just imagine if something so spooky were to happen, wouldn't it surely be the stuff of nightmares? The following video was shared by a user on Facebook named Desdol Masala Zirku. In the clip, Desdol entered a creepy house with the intention of communicating with spirits. Little did he know that his actions would set off a series of unsettling events. Inside the house, Desdol found himself trapped in the bathroom. The atmosphere suddenly changed, creating a feeling of being trapped and unable to escape. It was as if something supernatural was at play. Desdal desperately tried to get out, but the spirits seemed to manipulate his movements, coaxing him to stay. Their true intentions remain mysterious, but it seemed they sought companionship. The tension escalated, and Desdal's fear grew. Driven by a sense of desperation, Desdal made his way toward a window, hoping it would lead him to freedom. His emotions were so intense that even though he spoke a different language, anyone watching could feel the fear and anxiety that filled the air. It makes you wonder in Russia, do people get scared when someone else encounters something spooky? After all, fear is a universal language that can be understood by anyone.
On a dark and eerie night, an adventurous person decided to fly their drone over a spooky graveyard. The drone floated effortlessly above the creepy tombstones, capturing the quiet stillness of the night. However, little did they know that this peaceful flight was about to take a bone-chilling twist. Suddenly, from the shadows behind a weathered gravestone, a ghostly figure materialized. It moved with an otherworldly grace, its spectral form sending shivers down the spine. And just as quickly as it appeared, the phantom vanished into thin air, leaving behind a lingering sense of mystery. Even to this day, the memory of this enigmatic apparition continues to haunt the person who witnessed it. Its inexplicable disappearance defies all logical explanation. Who or what was this unidentified spirit? What secrets lay hidden within the haunted graveyard? Such questions fill the air, capturing the imagination and leaving one to ponder the mysteries that dwell in the realm of the unknown. The video in question shared by YouTuber Kisika Hedupan and trending in the Indonesian speaking YouTube community features a perplexing scene. We witness a figure dressed in red soaring up into the sky. This spectacle has sparked numerous theories regarding its origin and nature. Some spectators have entertained the possibility that it could be Superman, possibly due to the character's iconic ability to fly. Others speculate that it might be a remotely operated drone, a technological marvel that has become increasingly common. Could it be the work of a sorcerer wielding supernatural powers that defy our understanding? Such an interpretation would certainly add an aura of mystery and enigma to this already bewildering occurrence. The TikTok video uploaded by Doblink A7 showcases a nautical location with an eerie atmosphere. The video starts off innocently with a group of people venturing into the coordinates of this chilling place in the dead of night. However, the tranquil expedition takes a frightful turn. Amidst the darkness, they begin to encounter unexpected occurrences, causing them to question their safety and sanity. Oh, hell. No way. Hello? Hello? Okay. It's moving. Hello? Hi. Are you okay? Hello? Do you need help? Okay. What the hell? What is it doing? I don't know. Hey! Are you alright? Hello? Look at me shake. Hello? Hey. Are you okay? That thing don't have a face. Are you alright? What is that? I don't... Uh-uh. The video captures their reactions of shock and fear as they try to make sense of the inexplicable phenomena unfolding before their eyes. Hello? Look at me shake. Hello? Hey. Are you okay? That thing don't have a face. Are you alright? What is that? I don't... Hey! The TikTok community is known for its diverse and creative users who are bound to come up with plenty of theories and explanations for you, just like TikToker Clax attacks who encountered a shadowy creature watching him in the darkness. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. This is really weird. Domino, what is that? Many are left intrigued and curious about what this entity could be. Among the various speculations, some TikTokers suggest that the creature might be a shapeshifter. This theory gained momentum when some viewers claimed to have downloaded the video and adjusted the brightness. What the hell is that? Hey! Although it's always fascinating to explore such supernatural ideas, we should approach them with caution and the understanding that visual manipulation can occur through video editing techniques. What is that? 
Hey! Considering the unsettling nature of the footage, it's understandable that people might interpret the creature as stalking the TikToker. Hey! Have you ever come across something unexplained or mysterious in your own surroundings? It's always intriguing to hear about such experiences and the different interpretations people have. In the spooky city of Melbourne, Australia, a brave explorer ventures into a decrepit old building infamous for its creepy tales of the supernatural. Armed with a camera, they set out to capture any mysterious happenings lurking within. Whispers and stories float about concerning a spectral little girl, known to effortlessly glide through walls and send shivers up spines. Amidst documenting the building's intricate architecture, our curious adventurer's gaze falls upon a sight that On the balconies, a figure emerges, slowly shuffling along. At first glance, it appears to be someone draped in a traditional white sheet or ghostly costume. However, upon closer inspection, a sense of foreboding washes over our intrepid explorer as they realize this figure is much more than a simple prankster. Its form is transparent, almost ethereal, and exudes an eerie presence. The way it moves sends a shiver down their spine, a creepy combination of crawling and hovering along the barrier. The encounter becomes more mysterious and unsettling, leaving our curious explorer with a plethora of questions. What could this ghostly figure be? What secrets does it hold within the depths of this haunted building? In this YouTube video, Rodolfo Augusto and his team explore a creepy abandoned well. They get spooked when they hear strange footsteps in the bathroom, even though no one is there. Aqui. Deve ser. Onde que que tem lá? Vamos ali, só olhar ali, vamos lá para casa. Essa devastação toda. E no, no sítio da minha tia. Não cai, dá para dentro. Aqui, mano, vai ser muito esse túmulo. Olha que túmulo ali, velho. Parece que foi enterrado pessoa aí, né? Oi, tem alguma coisa aqui que passou em cima aí, ó. Sai daí, pinguim, vai que tem gente morta aí. It can be quite unsettling to encounter unexplainable phenomena in abandoned places. Have you ever experienced anything similar while exploring? This is my turtle. And I'm home alone, right? But that's me. How could there be a reflection of someone who wasn't really there? Was it some kind of ghostly trick or an illusion of his imagination? What other surprises awaited him in this mysterious tale? Join me on a journey as we explore a spine-chilling image, shared by a Reddit user named Failed Talk Show Host. This image was taken inside their apartment. According to the uploader, strange and mysterious noises have been echoing from the depths of the kitchen for years. Imagine the sound of faint tapping and muffled thuds coming from drawers and cabinets. It would send shivers down anyone's spine. Now let's turn our attention to the building itself. It dates back to the early 1970s and has quite the notorious reputation. In this dimly lit world, the photo is captured in complete darkness, with only the faint glow of streetlights casting eerie shadows into the room. As we zoom in and brighten it up, we are greeted by an unsettling sight. A peculiar silhouette of a bearded man with a strangely featureless face emerges from the darkness. Who or what could this figure be? What do you make of this enigmatic figure? 
Do you believe in ghosts, or do you think there is a scientific explanation behind this eerie image? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Let us unravel the mystery together. This video clip has left both paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics puzzled. Hikers in Brazil claim to have captured footage of two towering 10-foot-tall figures they believe are extraterrestrials. The bizarre incident took place on a hilltop in Ilha do Mel, a scenic location renowned for its natural beauty. Sarah Delit, a witness from Brasilia, was enjoying a day outdoors with her family when she noticed these unusual figures. In the footage, which has gone viral on social media platforms like X and Instagram, the elongated beings are visible standing on the hilltop. Speaking in Portuguese, what adds to the mystery of this sighting is Delete's assertion that reaching this part of the hilltop was virtually impossible. Despite Delete's strong belief that she saw aliens, not everyone is convinced. Social media users have joined the discussion, offering alternative explanations. Some ex-users speculated that the figures resembled inflatable objects often seen at car washes, while others suggested they might be hikers with walking poles. The video has ignited a lively debate, with many calling for clearer high-definition footage of these supposed alien encounters. Walking outside at night can bring about some truly inexplicable experiences, as demonstrated in a video uploaded by EasyBiscuit19, a Reddit user was simply enjoying an evening stroll. The atmosphere of the cold night air adds a certain enchantment compared to walking during the day. In this particular video, the uploader makes a shocking discovery that they can't find an explanation for. They capture footage of strange floating lights above the area. The lights appear to be of an otherworldly nature, but it's important to keep an open mind. While they may seem like evidence of extraterrestrial activity, there could be other plausible explanations. It's possible that the lights are the result of a natural phenomenon, a man-made object or even a trick of the camera. Without more information it's challenging to draw a definitive conclusion. That's why the uploader is seeking the help of others to shed light on this mysterious encounter. If you have any insights or theories about what could be causing these strange lights, the uploader eagerly awaits your comments. Now we have another video from the High Strangeness subreddit, captured by a doorbell camera. Instead of showing anyone acting strangely at the door, this video captures something unusual happening in the sky. Let's take a look. The video, filmed in England, shows a peculiar triangle-shaped object floating in the sky late at night. It seems to be some sort of unidentified flying object, or as some people might say, a UFO. Just as it starts to get interesting, the video abruptly ends. Fortunately, the video is long enough for us to examine this eerie UFO, or whatever it might be in some detail. 
Those of you who are skeptical about the existence of extraterrestrial life, what do you make of this perplexing light formation? It certainly raises some curious questions. The YouTuber 10 Paranormal recently shared a video on YouTube Shorts that captured a strange and mysterious creature blocking the road at night. The creature appeared to hop out onto the road, almost as if it was intentionally trying to impede the YouTuber's progress. Upon closer inspection it became apparent that the creature was tightly bound, resembling a mummy-like figure. This peculiar creature resembles a peikon, a Javanese ghost believed to be trapped in his burial shroud. However, the video lacks a closer look at its face, which could provide further clues about its identity or origins. Regardless, the behavior of this creature is undeniably alarming, and my instinct would be to take steps to distance oneself from it rather than attempting to identify it. comes from the Paranormal Encounter subreddit, which is known for his avid fans of all things creepy, bizarre, and paranormal. A Reddit user with the handle PrestigiousBad1998 posted this particular video that has been creating quite a buzz on the subreddit lately. According to the user, their motion sensor usually captures white orbs, but this footage stands out as something entirely different from what they typically capture. Upon watching the five-second video, it's hard not to feel a shiver run down their spine. Initially, it appears that a black orb is descending the stairs, but as the seconds pass, it becomes increasingly unsettling how human-like this entity appears to be. This raises the question, could this be a paranormal being wandering around inside the homeowner's residence? Regardless of the true nature of this mysterious figure, it's safe to assume that we all wish for the homeowner to regain their peace and tranquility. It's undoubtedly a distressing situation to have such unexplained occurrences happening in one's own home. The man's ears are puzzled by the sound of footsteps echoing in the quiet. It's an eerie sensation that sends chills down his spine. The strangest part is that the lights in the basement refuse to illuminate, leaving everything in darkness, though a bit unnerved. The man summons his bravery and decides to explore the unknown. He mentions that he has experienced peculiar happenings before, like hearing footsteps when he's all by himself. The man's mind drifts to his job as a gravedigger, where he has sensed a mysterious presence lurking nearby while toiling away. At the moment, in the basement, I swear I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly what it is but it's kind of creepy but it's an incident that unfolded right Wonder here still has power. in his own home That's good. that fills his thoughts with but confusion the, uh, with a mixture of apprehension and curiosity the man ventures further out, into the basement which is very hoping strange. to uncover the source of the unexplained sounds i'm not sure what that noise was but i don't know i'm home alone right now so I guess. Look out back. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Suddenly, another set of footsteps resonates through the stillness, causing him to tense up. Keeping his senses sharp, he scans the area, searching for any sign of movement. As if frozen in time, a moment stretches out before him. And then, as if trapped in a supernatural freeze frame, the man's camera captures an alarming sight. In the bathtub, a figure stands motionless, draped in an ominous shadow. It's a chilling sight that gives the man an unwelcome jolt of fear. He can hardly believe his own eyes. Puzzled and bewildered, he can't help but wonder if he has just witnessed a supernatural encounter. The enigmatic figure, however, vanishes into thin air when the man returns to the bathroom, leaving him with more questions than answers.
it seems that the guys from the YouTube team Ghost Theory have found themselves in quite the precarious situation. They had essentially unleashed something sinister, the mention of the pentagram and the heightened feeling upon entering the mansion further suggests that this place is steeped in dark energy. You can almost... You can, yeah. You can almost leave. It appears that the spirits in the mansion are becoming increasingly restless and aggressive. That is... Oh, okay. Do you know what's actually really strange? You said this feels really wrong. Yeah, and that was really yeah. bad. I mean, never, look at the masks. Yeah, blood masks. It's becoming clear that at whatever they have called forth is not friendly or benevolent, but rather an evil entity. Right. Oh. Like. Oh. Can you? I can't move. The door. I do not. It's crucial to approach these situations with caution and respect as the supernatural realm can be unpredictable and dangerous. In our next video on the Dogtooth Media channel, we find ourselves exploring a rather mysterious case. The uploader, Todd, suspects that his shiny new Ford Mustang may have encountered something overworldly. You see, Todd recently embarked on a thrilling ghost hunt, and now he can't help but wonder if he unintentionally brought back more than just thrilling memories of specters and spirits. I suddenly hear it. No, you still have, you still not in yet. Oh, oh, see? Oh, oh, I'm coming for you. And you said it. Oh, the car. It has to go to you. Wow. <laughs> oh, and look, it misses that one. Let it swore right into it. The video takes a surprising turn as we witness a shopping trolley hurling itself into Todd's car. Yes, you heard that right. A seemingly ordinary shopping trolley has inexplicably taken on a life of its own. It crashes into the car with an impact that leaves us both shocked and bewildered. What could have caused this bizarre event? As Todd narrates the incident, we are left wondering about the events leading up to this strange occurrence. He ventures into a haunted forest where a creepy mansion holds a sinister secret about its owners and their dark past all while carrying a valuable relic from long ago. Now, let's take a closer look at the mansion. In the background, we can see other buildings as well. I see buildings in the back as well. Let's see if I can see anything on the inside. Just got a noise on the inside. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on the IR. As he enters the mansion, the narrator starts to hear strange noises from inside. Curiosity drives him forward, but he also worries about the possibility of falling through a weakened floor. The atmosphere inside is bone chillingly cold. While exploring, he continues to hear mysterious noises, each one making him more unsettled.
Usa todo tu poder. Use all your power. Try to talk to me. I need you to talk to me, Dolores. I don't know who else is going to come here to talk to you after me because this place is in the middle of nowhere. Then from above, a chilling sound echoes through the mansion. Oh, that came from upstairs. That legitimately just came from upstairs. This thing is... As the narrator continues his exploration, he starts to receive strange sensations and experiences. Whispers in front of him, strange names, and an unexplainable sense of good and evil hold his attention captive. But what could be the cause of this evil? Is it connected to the shadowy figure mentioned earlier? And is it all still somehow connected to Jose? The mystery deepens. Dolores? Jose? Alice. Who's Alice? Is Alice the person that Jose was cheating on you with? I could have sworn it was a different name, unless that's another one. I do not want to run here. I am hearing a bunch of noises moving around here. Good and evil here. What's the evil about? Is this still about Jose? I need you to use all your energy for me, okay? I need you to tell me what is going on here. Hola? Hello? my way back to the mansion but if you look over there you can see what looks like a structure back there I want to see what's going on over there because I think there's something else in the back that I didn't really look at too much I'm kind of hearing something as well I'm kind of hearing something as well I'm kind of hearing something as well What the hell is going on? I don't know what the hell that is. It legit looks like someone walking into the building. Right now it is inside the building. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit closer with the night vision. For some reason my night vision is not picking it up. It appears to be a person walking into the building. Despite the building's ominous presence, he feels compelled to investigate further. He attempts to get closer using night vision, but oddly, it fails to pick up any evidence of the figure. However, the disturbing encounter doesn't end there. Through the top window, the narrator spots yet another mysterious figure. What are your thoughts on this spying, chilling exploration? What could be the true nature of these strange occurrences and the figures lurking within? Deep within the shadows of the night lies an eerie figure that has captured the imagination of many. La Girona, a character deeply rooted in Latin American folklore, is a haunting presence that has haunted the minds of generations with her chilling tale. Legend has it that this sorrowful specter, also known as the Weeping Woman, was once a mother consumed by jealousy and despair. Lost in a fit of darkness, she tragically drowned her own beloved children within the depths of a river. Now overwhelmed by profound grief and remorse, she is cursed to wander the earthly plain eternally searching for her lost offspring and desperately calling out for them within the darkness. Throughout time, the legend of La Girona has evolved, giving rise to various interpretations and origins across Mexico and Central America. However, a constant thread weaves through these tales. The profound anguish and suffering she bears, expressed through her piercing wails that echo through the night. 
Recently, a video surfaced on the online platform Reddit, shared by a user named Draz94500 A Legend. The uploader claims that a friend of theirs captured this footage, believing it to be an encounter with La Girona herself. As the video unfolds before our eyes, we are greeted by the presence of a shadowy figure. Clad in a billowing white dress, the anonymous entity slowly roams beneath the dim glow of a streetlight, barely distinguishable in the shroud of darkness. At first, the figure appears to disturb some canine residents of the neighborhood, as their distant barks reverberate in the background. Yet, this disturbance pales in comparison to what is to come. Suddenly, a mournful wail, echoing with immense sorrow, pierces the tranquility of the night air. It is a bone-chilling sound that leaves a lingering shiver down one's spine. Is it possible that this could be the timeless specter of La Girona herself, beseeching the heavens for her long-departed children? The answer remains uncertain, inviting you to watch and listen once more. The security cameras positioned at the front of their home recorded a sequence of events that were anything but ordinary. Suddenly, a loud commotion jolted the homeowner from inside, prompting her to quickly rush outside, her heart pounding with fear. What exactly did she stumble upon? In Quirataro, a young woman captured a video of a dam that had been the site of various incidents, including people going missing and the discovery of remains. The atmosphere around the dam was always dark and mysterious. Señor, véngase. Véngase. Camine, siga la luz para acá. No, hágase usted para acá. Véngase para acá. ¿Sí viene? Sí, sí, sí. Véngase para acá. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Venga, venga. Señor, venga para acá. It seems that there is something inexplicable happening in this dam, something that defies our understanding of what is possible. Looking at the dam, we notice its exceptionally deep waters, making it seemingly impossible for any human to stand. But now, with the appearance of a glowing person, the dam's unsettling history takes on an even more eerie and chilling tone. In the eerie stillness of the night, a homeowner suddenly woke up. The jolting barks of their dog filled the air, causing a sense of alarm. Without wasting any time, they quickly checked the security footage. Their heart raced with anticipation, hoping to discover what had caused their dog's frenzied reaction. To their surprise, the door creaked open on its own setting off a flurry of alarms and bells. The homeowner's eyes widened as they watched the video playback, expecting to catch a glimpse of an intruder or a ghostly figure. But to their dismay, the screen revealed only emptiness, an eerie void. The homeowner strained their ears, listening intently in the darkness. A video was posted on Facebook by a user named Shunique Legacy. In the video, Shunique was keeping an eye on his lawn when something horrifying caught his attention. Quickly, Shunique took out his phone and snapped a picture. Later, when he looked at the photo, he was amazed by what he had captured. If that was a wild doll, that was a huge ass wild doll. That was too 
dead. That was too dead, man. I don't know what the f going on, y'all. I'm so freaked out right now. So I went back and, you know, re-looked at the pictures again and zoomed in on them. And I promise you, dog, it looked at like a f***ing werewolf or some was staring at me. Like, was literally looking dead the f*** at me. Like, looking right at me. Like, you got me. Had the one eye just looking, up, looking at my head. One eye on me, looking at me. The object in the picture appeared to be a very large doll, giving him quite a scare. Chunik was confused and frightened by what he saw, and couldn't make sense of it. He decided to take another look at the pictures and zoomed in on them. To his surprise, it seemed like a creature resembling a werewolf was staring back at him. The creature's intense gaze seemed fixed upon him, almost as if it was focused solely on him. Shunik was taken aback by this discovery and felt a shiver run down his spine. He couldn't understand what was happening. The whole situation felt unnerving. Shaken by the experience, Shunik ended his video, still feeling uncertain about what he had witnessed. Backyard. Zoom it in a little piece. This is the, this is the exact spot that I just... <laughs> oh, like, I really don't know what the f*** going on, man. Like, on some real ass like, this ain't no f***ing joking ass dog. Man, I swear to God, I don't know what the f*** is going on, but I am so freaked the f*** out right now. Y'all, hell nah, I ain't finna open up that mother door again. Hell no, nah, you ain't just seen that I know I ain't the only one just seen that dog. Hell no. Nah. Hell to the mother no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. It was clear that he was genuinely scared and didn't think the situation was a joke. He vowed not to open the door again, as he was too freaked out by the whole ordeal. Shunik believed that the shadowy figure in his backyard was a werewolf and expressed his fear and confusion to his friends on the live Facebook broadcast. Some people may think that Shunik's video was a prank or a hoax. However, during the live stream, Shunik, still in a state of shock, stepped outside to show his viewers where the monster had been standing. Instead, he captured something strange. A peculiar transparent shape darted across his garden, leaving his audience wondering if it could be a mystical creature or a terrifying demonic presence. On the other hand, Shunik insisted that he had been dealing with a frightening creature resembling a werewolf for a while now. So what do you think? Was it truly a werewolf? Or was it just a well-planned trick? Backyard, I'm zooming in a little piece. This is the, this is the exact spot that I just- <laughs> The attic of this five-floor apartment building is rumored to be the site of satanic rituals. In a twist of fate, YouTuber Adam Kostrapper finds himself trapped in the attic with these dark energies. As he enters the attic, a pentagram lies before him, a symbol often associated with demonic summonings. <laughs> so strange okay well I will I will poop my curiosity gets the best of him and he decides to light the candles within the pentagram it's closed it's closed Little does he know, this decision will soon lead to regret. Using his arsenal of paranormal investigation devices, Adam begins to feel overwhelmed by an unseen force. The air becomes heavy, and he senses a malevolent presence lingering in the attic. Fearing for his safety, Adam turns to his trusted Bible, a symbol of protection and faith. Refusing to engage or communicate with the alleged demon, he takes a wise approach by not provoking it further. Oh! I'm not gonna communicate with this. Oh, f 
I believe that this cautious approach is something most paranormal investigators should adopt. It's crucial to respect the unknown and exercise caution when dealing with paranormal entities. Instead of deliberately provoking these forces, it's wiser to seek protection and maintain a respectful distance. Sometimes, playing with fire can have serious consequences. Oh! I'm not gonna communicate with this. Oh, Welcome to Chris Drake's original channel, where we delve into the spine-tingling story of Josh and his pet dog, Gypsy. In Josh's house, inexplicable and eerie events unfold, leaving him on edge. Gypsy, a ghostly yet dog, lay presence, captures our attention as the story unfolds. Particularly fascinating is Gypsy's curious disdain for a specific closet door. What could possibly be hiding behind it? It'd be really nice if someone could open that door. As we follow Josh's journey, we witness his ongoing attempts to comprehend these strange occurrences. Hmm. It usually does it by now. I wonder what the heck was that about. Gypsy, what are you doing? <laughs> goes. Told you guys. I told you. Now. Oops. Drop some. There we go. See? Nothing's in here. No one is in this room at all. Not one bit. Look. No string. No string. Not on the door at all. And now I'm going to show you why I did this again. Look at this. I've blocked this door off so it wouldn't bother me no more. And it tore up my carpet. It clawed on my door. I'm freaking out. Like, I'm about to move out, honestly. I'm sitting on my bed. Watch this. If there's anyone in here, open that door. Hmm. If there's anyone. In this room, open that door. Try harder than that. Josh is baffled by this inexplicable behavior. Could it be a ghostly presence taunting him? Unfortunately, his attempts to shut out the mysterious forces only result in damage to his carpet and door. Josh's fear is palpable and he contemplates moving out altogether. As Josh sits on his bed, he musters the courage to confront the enigmatic presence once more. The room takes on an eerie aura, leaving us with an unsettled feeling. Something inexplicable lurks within these walls, and Josh finds himself drawn further into the darkness and it tore up my carpet. It clawed on my door. I'm freaking out. To locate the legendary creatures called fairies, content creator Erwin Saunders embarks on an exciting journey through the enchanting wilderness of the United Kingdom. With his keen eye and unwavering determination, Erwin consistently captures these mystical beings in action. However, not everything always goes smoothly for him. While venturing deeper into the forest, Erwin finds himself momentarily startled as one of the wilderness folk swipes his sandwich. Ah, he's got my... Look! Right, look at this. Hold on. My... my sandwich. <laughs> very, very tempted to, to 
to go and get that from you. Erwin's encounters with the wilderness folk remind us that the world's magic is not always immediately visible, but with determination and an open mind, we can catch glimpses of enchantment in unexpected moments. Embark, explore, locate, capture, observe, examine, embrace. In Nottingham, there is a gigantic nightclub called Prism. Recently, on October 2nd, the nightclub's Twitter page shared something very intriguing. In the footage, our eyes are drawn to a cabinet door. It mysteriously swings open, revealing its hidden contents. Suddenly a commotion ensues as various items fly out and scatter across the floor. Now, some people believe this whole thing was simply a clever trick to get attention. They think it was just a publicity stunt. But wait a moment. There are others who seem genuinely shocked by this eerie occurrence. They've taken to social media to express their surprise and disbelief. I wonder if these are the regular clubgoers who've been visiting Prism for a while. Maybe, just maybe, some of them are even excited about the possibility of a ghost haunting their beloved nightclub. How extraordinary. As she floated in the calm waters, she believed she was the only one around relishing in the solitude. But as the shadows deepened and the moonlight danced across the surface, a mysterious figure silently emerged from the darkness. Who could it be, looming just behind her, waiting patiently? With a deep breath and a decisive plunge, she submerged herself into the depths, and there, beneath the surface, we catch a glimpse of what she sees. This chilling video has been brought to you by a YouTube channel called Haunted Finders. Brace yourself as we delve into their most recent exploration at an eerie old hall in England. As the team courageously ventures through the hall, they start to hear unexplainable sounds coming from various locations. If you're outside this room, can you do something? Make a noise for us. It's as if objects and voices are moving on their own. The suspense builds as they call out to any spirits that might be lurking outside the room, urging them to make their presence known. Can you shout something with your voice? I'm gonna play this directly into the microphone and I'll do it for yours as well. Yeah. Um, because it sounds like there's a whisper right after this next thing is said. Come into the room, Chillers, we won't harm you. Very low in I wish I, yeah, I wish I'd have brought my... Blue light. I wish I'd have brought my... It's here. Four people died. Three children and one woman, a maid, who was looking after those children. Is that correct? What is that? Something catches their eye in the hallway, but it's unclear what exactly it is. Was it a glimpse of something supernatural? As they discuss what they saw, their fear intensifies. Tension in the hall thickens as they realize that there have been tragic deaths in this place. Three children and a woman who cared for them. The team's nerves are on edge as they try to make sense of the paranormal occurrences around them. I am not- I don't know if I'm going to say, honestly. What, in the hall? In the hall? Come on out. That 
was weird. I swear to God. What did it look like? It might have been my eyes. It just looked like... You knew the soap was there, like. It just looked like... You knew the soap was there, like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think... Is yeah, that somebody, where was that? Was that somebody that answered you, didn't they? Is that behind me? Yeah, that was yeah. the candle would have picked that up. Wait, was it on the roof? Yeah, it was. Where was it? I don't know. I heard footsteps, I like shuffled it. I keep hearing there's a shuffling down there. Do you know just before you? Whoa! Do you know just before you? Whoa! Check it out, check it out. Mate, that's oh. something just scratched on the wall. That's got to be a rat. Can you imagine being in their shoes, waiting anxiously for a noise or a shout in response? They even play audio directly into the microphone, hoping to capture any whispers or voices that might be lingering in the darkness. With all the eerie sounds and activities, could it be possible that a spirit or entity resides here? It's a bone-chilling thought that lingers in the air as the investigation continues. Behold, a perplexing enigma presents itself in a remote corner of the vast digital realm known as YouTube. A curious phenomenon has been unveiled by the intrepid content creator. Lone Star Lunatic 361 prepared to witness a video that unveils the bizarre encounter of a reporter plagued by an inexplicable eye anomaly. With each blink of her eyes, an extraordinary spectacle unfolds before our very eyes. It's as if her ocular orbs have taken on a life of their own. Engaging in a captivating dance resembling somersaults, a mind-boggling sight indeed. As we ponder this peculiar occurrence, we are left with burning questions. Could this perplexing display be the fault of some technological glitch in our advanced digital age, or perchance, is there a deeper, more mystical force at play? Boothill Cemetery is a unique place, famous for its graves of men who were buried with their boots on. It even holds the resting place of a woman. Recently, the team from Paranormal Voyages decided to explore this eerie cemetery. However, their main concern turned out to be not spirits, but birds see it. I mean, I can't really see what it says on the board there. But Fanny... All right, so, they had the, so they had a woman buried here. She's buried opposite from, I guess, all the men. Yeah. Give us a name. Whoa. Bird just almost flew around my face. <laughs> Birds usually add a touch of peace and serenity to outdoor spaces, but in this context they seem to take on a more unsettling tone. But based on the information provided, it seems that a TikToker has discovered a creature under the ice in Antarctica. The creature, described as a humanoid monster, is captured on footage that originated from Backroom's archive. So let's see what it is oh there is another air balloon what what the hell this is a monster head as the tiktoker digs the creature out they are surprised by what they find i cannot believe my eyes guys That's a monster head! Look! That is his eyes! If you find yourself in a terrifying situation with a demon haunting your apartment, it may be wise to seek the assistance of an expert in the supernatural realm. One such individual is Kolia, a YouTuber who actively seeks out encounters with ghosts. <laughs> He documents his experiences in a frightful video, providing a glimpse into the torment this unfortunate resident endures on a daily basis. Oh. 
Things take a sinister turn as the demon, clearly enraged by Kolya's presence, retaliates by manipulating the lights and promising retribution. <laughs> The malevolent energy grows stronger, causing objects to be flung around the room. It becomes increasingly clear that this demon is one of the most aggressive entities Kolya has ever encountered. <coughs> As Kolya persists in his investigation, prodding for answers, the hostility of the situation escalates. The demon's anger intensifies, matching Kolya's determination. It is at this point that I believe it would be prudent to call off this investigation. The risks and dangers inherent in this encounter are becoming overwhelming. Ты можешь сказать, для чего тебя сюда вызвали? Какой дела не обряд? It is indeed a chilling situation to find oneself in where the feeling of being observed intensifies with each passing moment. The TikToker's account of regularly seeing a figure studying in one of the windows only adds to the creepiness of this encounter. However, in this particular instance there seems to be nothing in that window, except for the unwavering gaze fixated upon her. The warmer toned ones, and then look. Look at that. Like what the heck, and then this is the window? where I normally see the figure, or like the person. Like, what is that? This leaves us pondering whether this entity is an actual human being or merely an inanimate object that takes on an eerie semblance of humanity due to the distance and lighting conditions. So there it is. Not creepy at all, right? While it's difficult to ascertain the true nature of this presence from afar, the unmistakable impression of someone watching is undeniable thought of living in such a place and having to face this unsettling situation would undoubtedly make it a sleepless night for anyone the warmer toned ones and then look look at that like what the heck and then this is the window where i normally see the figure or like the person like what is that the recording in question is from the renowned paranormal investigation channel ghost deck in this particular episode, Jeff, Phil, and Peter embark on their investigation in the eerie Reddit School Museum. As they delve deeper into the mysterious surroundings, they stumble upon an unexplained occurrence caught on one of their cameras. Has helped many children, and is still helping children today. And it'd be really interesting to speak to somebody who either worked with him or was a pupil here? The suspense builds as they question the entity. Suddenly, Jeff's camera captures a chilling moment. Was he a good teacher? Did he treat you fairly? Hey guys, something's moving. Pete, mm. all your back went black. Something was moving. It was in between me and you, I think. It, went, it was really quick. A sinister dark anomaly swiftly streaks into Peter's back, traversing the room with uncanny velocity. But the burning question remains. Have they successfully captured evidence of a genuine shadow figure? Children are typically seen as symbols of purity and innocence. When they are depicted as malevolent or eerie, 
It creates a powerful contrast that is both unsettling and intriguing. Mikey, you're old, cold. scary yeah, out of me on my life. I really can't tell you what the temperature is outside because I don't know. But, uh... Jesus Christ! Oh! <laughs> The idea that something so pure can be so evil plays on our fears of the unknown and the corrupted. Society expects children to be harmless, playful, and vulnerable. When they display sinister behavior, it subverts these expectations, creating a sense of unease and cognitive dissonance. This unexpected reversal is a key element in many horror stories. <laughs> Children are perceived as vulnerable and needing protection. When they are portrayed as dangerous, it flips the dynamic, making adults feel vulnerable and powerless. We're gonna only play this one time, okay? Because I don't like it. Ready? Collins, I'm not doing this creepy stuff again. Don't be creepy this time, okay? Do it normal. Ready? Go. This role reversal can evoke a primal fear of losing control and safety. Many stories about creepy children involve them having supernatural abilities, which adds to their eeriness. The idea that a child who should be powerless can wield extraordinary power is both fascinating and terrifying. The concept of the uncanny valley suggests that things which are almost human, but not quite, can evoke feelings of eeriness and discomfort. <laughs> In 2017, a hen party captured two eerie photos at a remote Scottish estate. When posted to Reddit, they caused a sensation. In the second picture, taken moments later, a small boy is clearly seen staring from behind chopped logs. Terrified by the images, the group fled immediately. Their investigation revealed a young boy had drowned while sleepwalking at the nearby Quaylet Hotel. The hotel owners claim his presence is still felt in room 4, with guests reporting missing items and mysterious wet footprints. Locals call him the Blue Boy, a haunting reminder of the color his skin turned when they finally pulled him from the lake. Creepy children, especially those who behave in an unnatural manner, fall into this category as their behavior and appearance are close enough to normal to be disturbing. Children can symbolize repressed fears and guilt. For instance, the presence of a ghost child in a story might represent a character's unresolved guilt or trauma related to their own childhood or a lost child. <laughs> Normally, when we think of the spirits, we think of something pale in color and that we can see through, like mists that form without precipitation or shadows with no light source. But what if you see something more concrete? like an actual full-figured human. In this video, we get a glimpse of what that could be. We see what looks to be a full-bodied child run. Could this be real? In this abandoned hospital clinic in Barranquilla, Colombia TikTok user, Costa Paranormal 1209, posts a 25-second clip. Let's take a closer look. Uy! Oh, puta! Oh, puta! Oh, puta! Oscar, 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 Oscar! A lot of commenters on TikTok seem to comment more on the uploader's verbiage than the actual sighting. There is a word that is repeated in Spanish that we may all be familiar with when in a state of fear. So maybe the whole setup was too cheesy to believe? I too would think that this is a little too unreal. But who really knows? If this were to be a real ghostly child caught on tape, I would be cautiously walking towards the exit. And in this clip, posted by Riker's Dad 2020, we see some poltergeist activity in the room as the toddler is a bit unsettled in their bed, tossing the blanket around. Some poltergeist activity is caught on tape.
It looks like a seat cushion, but I think it is something inflatable, so a strong enough fan could possibly knock it over. But it could also be ghostly. You decide. And then, in this video, uploaded to TikTok by user, Terrafantasmal, we see a child, in distress. <laughs> as it appears to feel something, which judging by the child's actions, must be sinister in nature. What could have caused the child to get out of his crib and balance himself for a good 15 seconds and then get knocked down by an unseen force? Creepy. Many cultures have legends and folklore about malevolent children or child spirits. Ahí, for example, the concept of black-eyed kids in modern urban legends or changeling myths in European folklore, where fairies would replace a human child with a fairy child. These stories tap into long-standing cultural fears about the unknown and the supernatural. In many myths and stories, children can symbolize the future, potential, and legacy. A corrupted or eerie child, therefore, can represent a perverted future or a haunting legacy, adding a deeper, often more tragic dimension to their creepiness. Uploaded to YouTube by ThaxJ2 The videographer described that they were at a party at a friend's house, out in the mountains. They already had notions that the house they were in was haunted. I imagine they felt that way through the vibes and feelings someone can get as I do sometimes when I am out to an unfamiliar and secluded place. They found assurance when they caught something freaky when trying to push the bathroom door. Let's take a look. Who's little hamper? I don't know. Oh my God. It's on the door. They're tiny. <laughs> and they're, wait, they both go the same way. We have a good. But no, these, they, they, she, she went left, left, right, right. No, it's a gecko with four arms. No, it's a gecko. It's a gecko. Can you wipe your as you can see, they begin recording as soon as something creepy catches their eyes. This short 23 second clip points out the heart of the matter, which are these four tiny handprints. When comparing the handprints to the uploaders, we can see that they are twice as small. They claim that none of their hands were wet, and the wet handprints must have come from spirits that were tiny. We can see the size difference of those handprints, and they appear to be child size and oddly both right hands. Since they stated that these were wet handprints, they must have occurred recently. I have read stories of baby handprints appearing on cars at such places like Gravity Hill. Seeing these, for sure, gives me the chills. We are able to see even smaller hands, both left handprints, but not as clear. Creepy. Initially, she was recording a video of her son playing outside when something chilling caught her attention. Intriguingly, Leon explains that she started having disturbing dreams once they moved into the house. She had the same dream every night, albeit with slight variations. Move into this house and I start having these really horrible dreams. Um, they were very disturbing. I had the same dream but a little bit different every night. This went on for a while. Um, I would wake up in the middle of the night. My heart was pounding. I was sweating. I was like terrified. And I would wake my fiance up all the time and he was getting so aggravated with me because he didn't understand what was going on and I didn't either. Um, so eventually I just kind of blocked it out and I just wouldn't talk about it. Well, we ended up having a bonfire with my neighbors and they had came over and my one neighbor had said to me, um, so she said the family that lived in there previous had moved out because they were experiencing like scary, crazy stuff. 
I don't even know how she ended up showing me a picture of um, this man. She said this man had took his life in the house that I was living at and the moment I looked at that picture, I knew that my house was haunted because it was the same man that I was dreaming of and that was pretty much in my dreams every night. So this is when I knew that my house was haunted. These nightmares left her waking up in the middle of the night feeling terrified with a racing heart and cover in sweat. She would often wake up her fiancé who became increasingly frustrated with her. Confused and scared, Leanne eventually chose to block out the experiences and refrain from discussing them. However, during a bonfire gathering with her neighbors, Beam learned something intriguing. Her neighbor revealed that the previous occupants of her current home had moved out due to experiencing unsettling and eerie events. Curiously, her neighbor even showed her a picture of a man who had taken his own life in the same house. To the Anne's surprise, this was the same man she had been dreaming about every night. It was at this moment that she realized her house was haunted and decided to share her story. The video itself captures a moment where Leanne's son appears to be playing with something visible. Suddenly he is forcefully pushed to the ground, accompanied by an eerie whispering voice. Another video shows the boy speaking to someone who seemingly enters the room and touches him. Startled, he hastily turns around as if shot or touched by an unseen presence. This brings us to the question, is this evidence of genuine paranormal activity captured on camera, or is it all just a hoax? Real-life cases of disturbed or malevolent children, though rare, also contribute to the fascination. What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? So I was pregnant and my daughter said, so since you lost this baby, are we going to get another baby? And I just was talking on the phone to my friend. I'm like, creepy. Did you hear what my kid just said? And she's like, that is so weird. Didn't really think too much of it. I just thought it was a creepy thing little kids say. But then the next day we were at Aldi's and I said, hey, isn't this fun? Soon you're going to have a little brother or sister to sit beside you in the cart because it's like a double seat for children. And she said, oh, so you're going to get another baby since you lost this baby? And um, my husband heard it that time, and we just, like, changed the subject. Um, but it creeped me out because she said it twice. And we actually found out that that was, like, on a Sunday, and we found out on Monday that we did lose our baby. So now she says anything like, hey, be careful out driving. I don't want you to get in a wreck. I feel like I'm going to die because she was right one time. TikTok user. Genevieve's monster was calling her daughter over after overhearing her chatting to someone. Only she and the mother were present in the home. The uploader did not realize what she saw until later. At the start of the clip, we see a shadow figure follow the daughter and then walks off to the left as the daughter moves towards the mother. Lorley, come here. Lorley, who are you playing with? What are you doing? What? If we zoom in, and add some color effects, we can better make out the shape of the shadow and clearly see that the shadow did not belong to the daughter. Terrifying. In February 2017, a council official in Vegas del Guineo, Spain, took a chilling photo in the town hall. It captured a young girl standing eerily in the hallway. Late at night, the official felt a sudden chill and heard strange noises. Thinking it might be thieves, he snapped a photo with his phone. At first, he saw nothing, but later, the image revealed the girl staring back at him. His colleagues shared similar creepy experiences. Stories about child psychopaths or unsettling behavior in real children can be profoundly disturbing, adding a layer of reality to the fictional trope. The combination of these factors creates a potent and enduring fascination with creepy children in paranormal contexts. The mix of innocence and malevolence, vulnerability and power, psychological depth, cultural roots, and real-life influences all contribute to making this trope both deeply unsettling and endlessly captivating. This creepy footage was posted on social media. Watch the kid in the mirror.
Pergi ambil anak Ambil eh. cepat Ambil Ambil The child's reflection freezes for a moment and his eyes turn black before returning to normal. Is this just an elaborate prank or footage of some kind of demon child? Popular media and literature have cemented the trope of creepy kids in the paranormal genre. Movies like The Exorcist, The Omen, and The Ring, along with books like The Shining and Pet Cemetery, have popularized and perpetuated the idea of the sinister child. These works resonate deeply with audiences, reinforcing the creepy child as a powerful archetype. I mean, it's to me, I'm backwards. <laughs> backwards? Whoa! How do you ride a bike backwards? I'm scared. I'm scared. Braylon? Braylon? What's happening with your car? He's not catching ball with you? Yeah. You need someone to play ball? Baba. What's happening? Who are you trying to find? A ghosty. A ghost? Yeah, a ghosty. But weren't you just trying to find Reagan? Where do you think she is? Reagan is the ghosty. Reagan is the ghost? Yeah, Reagan is the ghosty. Well, what's a ghost's face look like? What are we doing? What does that mean? I hear that ghost. You hear that ghost? Yeah. I wonder if the that goes. Okay. I'll be right there, Reagan. In the shadowy depths of Connick Chase's ancient woods, a team of seasoned paranormal investigators set up their cameras, eager to capture evidence of the supernatural. As twilight descended and the forest grew eerily quiet, the team ventured deeper into Staffordshire's notorious woodland, their every sense heightened by the possibility of encountering a ghostly apparition. Hours passed in tense anticipation until, finally, their cameras caught something strange. fleeting, almost imperceptible figure with unsettlingly dark eyes. Though the black-eyed child was barely visible on the footage, the investigators were convinced they had captured undeniable proof of its existence, a spectral presence that sent a wave of spine-tingling fear through those who dared to watch the recording. What are you waving at, Liv? Hmm? Bye, Bye-bye. Some people say that children are more likely to experience ghost sightings than most adults since they have a much higher sense of awareness. This makes them susceptible to detecting energy ah! and occurrences that most adults Hi. miss. Where are you talking to, baby? So, when you see your children talking to someone that isn't really there, can you just pass it off as them having an extraordinary imagination? Or are you just telling yourself that?
uploaded to TikTok, by shocking TV moments, a child appears to be having a conversation with someone that isn't there. When this happens, as you can see, something tried to take the container and then the lunch box from the child's hands. It really looks to me like something we cannot see is trying to take the items from the child because of the way the child moves when the items are being pulled is very natural, like if someone was actually there pulling them. Yuri. After the closing hours had elapsed, a woman found herself in an intriguing situation while charging her phone in the lower level of a three-story arcade mall. Despite the usual closure of entrances to patrons around the time of her visit, she ventured in, driven by her urgent need to charge her device. Evading the vigilant mall security, whose duty was to clear the premises of lingering individuals after closing, she proceeded with her task. Unbeknownst to her, beyond the threat of encountering displeased security personnel, lay an unforeseen occurrence waiting to be captured by her camera. I don't know where this sound is coming from, but it sounds like it's haunting. I can't figure out the direction it's coming from. I think it's up there, but I don't know. It's like all closed up up there. But what? It's literally like I'm in the arcade. It's literally shut off, you can't even get up there. It's like I'm being haunted. What are all these sounds? As she explored the premises during off-peak hours, she observed that the top two floors were sealed off with barricades for renovation. However, her attention was drawn to something more peculiar when she started hearing the distinct sounds of children laughing and chatting echoing. The drone operators were filming a high-speed chase across the rugged terrain of Kanak when, through the lens, they spotted a shadowy figure lurking in the distance. Intrigued and unsettled, they decided to lower the drone for a closer inspection. As the camera zoomed in, what they saw defied all logic and sent chills down their spines. black-eyed kid with an eerie, almost otherworldly presence, standing alone in the desolate landscape. The footage, now chillingly clear, captured the haunting visage of the child, whose jet-black eyes seemed to pierce through the very soul of the camera, leaving those who watched it with a lingering sense of dread and the unshakable feeling that something sinister had just been witnessed. Based on the description provided, it seems highly likely that something paranormal is occurring in the warehouse where YouTuber Chris completed the 30 minutes alone challenge. The fact that the building is completely enclosed and no logical explanation can be found for the mysterious metal clanking suggests that supernatural forces may be at play. It 
It's not uncommon for paranormal activities to manifest in dark and eerie environments. There it is again. Same sound. Yo, did you hear that? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. While it's natural to question whether the sound could be attributed to something mundane like wind or a draft, the lack of any visible openings or sources for the noise makes it highly improbable. This situation leaves us wondering what kind of paranormal entity or presence could be causing these unsettling phenomena. Pope, the spiritual leader of Catholics worldwide, often delivers his messages from the window of his residence. These significant speeches are broadcasted on television, reaching devout followers across the globe. However, it was in the curious month of April in the year 2020 when a rather peculiar incident unfolded during one of these broadcasts, capturing the attention of both believers and skeptics alike. As the Pope concluded his speech ready to retreat back into the depths of his dwelling, something extraordinary occurred, causing jaws to drop and brows to furrow. Instead of simply walking away, as he typically does, the Pope appeared to dissolve into the atmosphere, as if evaporating before the eyes of those watching. This perplexing sight was not only witnessed by those physically present, but also screened live on television, leaving no room for doubt or skepticism. As the news of this uncanny event spread like wildfire, people meticulously dissected the video footage, slowing it down in a quest for answers. The realization soon dawned on them that the Pope had indeed vanished into thin air, begging the question of how such a vanishing act could have occurred. Some whispers speculated that technology had altered reality, suggesting that the Pope's disappearance had been cleverly edited. However, this speculation was swiftly debunked as the broadcast had been transmitted live, leaving no room for manipulation. Amidst the bewildered discussions, theories emerged like sprouting wildflowers in the wake of a spring rain. Some pondered the possibility of the Pope's ethereal nature, speculating that perhaps he possessed divine abilities beyond mortal comprehension, which had allowed him to perform this inconceivable vanishing act. Others, considering the uncertain times of the ongoing pandemic, proposed that the Pope may have chosen not to expose himself to the risks of public appearances. In this scenario, a holographic projection was posited as the method employed to ensure his safety while maintaining his presence. Personally, I find the notion of the Pope resorting to holographic trickery rather implausible. However, it is undeniable that a most extraordinary event occurred before the eyes of millions. Does this enigmatic vanishing act hint at a fracture in the very fabric of reality, as some have suggested? Could it be an anomaly in the tapestry of existence, a glitch in the matrix, as the more imaginative minds proclaim? Perhaps, dear audience, you hold the key to deciphering this perplexing enigma. This video was uploaded by a YouTube channel called Kaka Sobre Natura. There's a horrible tragedy happening in the family's house being visited by the team. It is believed to be haunted as the team unpacks their boxes and inspects each room. Strange things start to happen. Gente, a família conta que quando eles estavam posando essa casa, aparecia um senhor sentado na poltrona dando risada, sorrindo. E isso era muito assustador, tanto que eles nunca mais quiseram pousar dentro dessa casa. Uma manifestação agora com a gente? Estamos na total escuridão. Estamos sentindo um cheiro de queimado. queimado. Cheiro de queimado. Estamos sentindo um cheiro de queimado. Como se tivesse uma confiança. Queimar algo, ficar pegando fogo. Nossa, olha!
Could this be the same ghost the family was expecting to see in this house? In the eerie expanse of deserts, where secrets and mysteries lay hidden, and an unsettling incident unfolded, the desert known for its enigmatic nature has become a stage for unexplained disappearances throughout history. It is even whispered to be a favored haunting ground for unidentified flying objects. On this particular day in the desolate expanses of Portugal, a group of diligent construction workers toiled away in the heart of nowhere, engrossed in their project, their chatter filled the empty air. However, their casual conversations abruptly diminished when their eyes fell upon a peculiar sight, with a jolt of fear tingling through their veins they observed a colossal figure pacing about the desert landscape. This creature, unlike anything they had ever encountered, appeared to be a towering being standing at a height of seven or eight feet, far surpassing the stature of ordinary humans. A surge of shock and terror gripped the workers, immobilizing them in their tracks. As they gazed upon this intimidating entity, a crucial decision loomed before them. Should they venture closer or should they proceed with caution? Wisely, they chose the path of prudence and prudently decided against any further exploration. Time passed, and yet no trace of the creature ever emerged once more. Few dare to venture into this remote and rural location, perhaps ensuring that no human has ever crossed paths with this enigmatic being again. If there were any encounters, could it be that none were left alive to recount their tales? The saga of the desert creature remains an unsolved mystery, forever lingering in the hushed sands and silent whispers of the desert winds.